So what you would have seen was the Surgical Society organized event thing where a few doctors, um, surgeons, spoke and gave insights into what their sort of career path, day-to-day -day life was like. So they talked each doctor, so there was a cardiothoracic surgeon, there was a pediatric uh, surgeon, uh, endocrinology surgeon as well. And they all kind of talked about how their specialty is and what they so they picked one case that was an unforgettable case and well there a lot they picked one and they kind of talked about it and the everything was really interesting so I, I initially I'm technically not interested in kind of surgery but having seen kind of listened to all the talks that happened this evening I think it really changed my perspective into what surgery is actually like um, I'm still not saying I'm 100% into surgery or gunning for surgery, but yeah, it's really changed my perspective. Um, the, the key thing that they've all emphasized was that the kind of surgical specialties are moving more towards emphasis in uh, soft skills. So they look at 10 competencies apparently, and of the 10, um, just two are technical and the rest of the eight are soft skills. So how you communicate with your patients, how empathetic you are, how efficient your communication style is, and all the things like that they look for when they're selecting you into a residency program. So it's a big paradigm shift um, as opposed to what it was a, um, a few, few years, a few decades ago. So that was, uh, that was really cool. So I'm kind of looking forward to tomorrow's as well. I now have high expectations as to what it's going to be like. Um, I went like, oh, the bus is here, so I even have. Where are we going, boys? Okay, we're going to the physician. The physician's physician talk thing, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. We'll see you guys there.
that there is 2,000 meters. Um, feels really good. Um, I haven't swam in absolutely ages, so uh, yeah, the pool is really refreshing. So I'm gonna head home now, have a shower, head home, and yeah, gonna chill for the rest of the day. Tomorrow's uh, tomorrow's Friday, and we don't have too much on. So yeah, really enjoyed that swim. Something that I um, didn't get to talk about um, for the week was the physicians talk we had. Um, so there were, again, quite a few different um, physicians that were there. So we had um, a person who did a whole lot of uh, training programs, including surgical, um, anesthesia, a whole lot of different ones. And she finally settled down to doing rheumatology. So she, we had her speak, and she was kind of speaking more about how um, specialties don't really um, kind of look out for people who are in the program and don't really care um, about their well-being and that kind of thing. So she was advocating for that. And then we also had um, another doctor who was an inter uh, international medical graduate. So he had a qualification overseas, and then he came and did the talk. Um, and he was kind of talking about how life can be unpredictable, so you can have a plan to go into like a specialty or something like that, and it just might not go to plan. And he used his sort of life experiences to elaborate on that. Um, we also had an intern who recently graduated from Bond, and he was kind of um, wanting to go into interventional cardiology, and he was setting out a plan as to how to do that for um, sort of the medical students currently and that kind of contradicted the previous doctor's kind of message but yeah so but it was all in sort of good intention for the students I guess so it was okay um, the other thing that I want to talk about so I'm at uh, Broad Beach so you would have seen quite a few shots of that already um, yeah it's a good way to just kind of finish off the week it's been it's been heavy. It's been uh, it's, there's been quite a lot of content as well. Um, so yeah, it's quite nice. Actually, we've got a beach stroll, 